In Pakistan, people make use of everything they can to save money, even sunlight. Starting from a simple dome-shaped mold, they weld bent steel bars together to form the first circular frame. Once the frame is even, they add smaller steel rods to create rectangular sections, which both strengthen the structure and support the surface to be placed on top. When the skeleton is complete, they weld thin metal sheets onto each section, forming the initial reflective surface of the cooker. Excess pieces are trimmed neatly, and a small rectangular opening is left in the center for the support bracket that will be installed later. The cooker is then taken outside under the sun to check the curvature and focal point. Once everything looks correct, they weld a central support on the back to adjust the angle. Impressively, they even reuse an old bicycle rim to create the rotating base, then weld a pot holder to the front. All welds are smoothed to prevent bumps and ensure the reflective surface works properly. Next, the craftsman applies adhesive and begins attaching small mirror pieces onto the steel frame. They patiently continue until the entire surface is covered, then fine-tune each mirror to achieve maximum reflection accuracy. Finally, they take the cooker back into the sunlight, attach the support bracket, and test it. And within just a few minutes, this homemade cooker is ready to run entirely on solar energy.